Cool, so this is just a quick video of the new DRZ2. I uh, just received this about an hour or two ago, um, after a bit of travel, and I just wanted to show off what's in the box because I've been quite impressed with uh, the presentation. It's um, nice to see Atomic going the, uh, the little extra effort with the, uh, the case. I've always been really, really concerned, well, not concerned, but annoyed that the case that uh, comes with uh, the Atomic models doesn't isn't actually large enough to hold an atomic model itself uh, with the body in it. Um, in this particular case, if I just grab my McLaren, um, we can see that it fits somewhat. Let's pop open the top and let's, uh, well actually no, first let's weigh it. So, um, so I'm interested to see how much this package weighs. Oops difficult but there we go so that's 230 grams <coughs> yep 230 grams so we know the car minus the body is not going to be any heavier than that but most of that should be the weight of the case so um let's crack that open you can see the usual parts in here i'm already starting to see some interesting things so drift tires um traditionally the um Atomics do not come with uh, tires at all, or wheels, so do we have any wheels in here? No, I'm not seeing any wheels, so you have to, we'll have to bring your own wheels. But one thing I am seeing is a screwdriver. Um, not too bad, I've got much better ones. Uh, actually, let's see if I can get handy. So I much prefer to use this, which I just got of Banggood, which um, is absolutely exceptional. Um, the only time I've ever seen a ball bearing used in the end there, um, and it seems really, really stupid, but uh, it's kind of nice. Um, and the bit more rarer to see um, type of uh, attachment, I'm just going to call it, or tall bit. Um, but super happy with this, really, really love it. And that knurling, um, really, really actually kind of good, not too sharp. Cool, so let's crack on with uh, having a look into this case. Um, let's try and actually weigh the individual parts themselves. Uh, we'll leave the tool out at this point. Fire that back up. And so you do get some sandpaper with various grits by the looks of it. And you do get a wheel removal tool, which is nice. Um, everything else is pretty much standard. Allen keys, uh, drill piece. Um, so I do like the fact that they include sandpaper. Um, I don't always have sandpaper or the correct sandpapers with me, so that's kind of nice. Well, this is going to be a bit troublesome. I mean, having a look at this, this is already up to 60 grams. 70 grams. And then, I'm going to cheat a bit. Okay. So 75 grams in total, minus the wheels, so that's a relatively light body, I'd say. Should be good for drifting. Um, and I guess the more important question which I originally started with was, does this fit in this? So, uh, okay, so there's a bit of a rolled edge, but if you get beyond that rolled edge, it does fit in there. So I'd say this is a medium length body. If you had a shorter body, it's definitely going to fit. Um, and if this is a wide body as well, so you'd want to have a bit of padding on the side. But it's really, really nice to see that I can reuse this for both storage and transport. So um, props to Atomic. Uh, I normally don't have a lot of love for them because I had a lot of issues with them over the past, but uh, they definitely seem to be increasing their quality. Uh, the devil, uh, the we will know just how the good that is um, when we actually build the kit. But uh, having a look at some of these parts, I'm actually kind of hopeful. Um, especially these, the different coloured uh, carbon fibre. Um, having a quick glance at it, it seems fairly well done. Uh, there's been a couple of times when I have got um, some atomic kits, and I'm specifically thinking of the SZ, uh, which is the shaft driven four wheel drive. Uh, that's had some known reliability issues and quality issues, and I'm not really seeing any evidence of that. Uh, the BZ3 um, was an exceptional build as well. Um, and these aluminium parts look exceptionally good. So one of the other things I got, 
Uh, do I have it handy? Yes, here we go, down here. Uh, is the Monoshock upgrade. Um, so this will be very, very interesting to um, chuck in there and see what the performance difference is as well. I see a lot of people uh, online, especially in the uh, Philippines and Indonesia, upgrading to the Monoshock on the uh, KL989 from WL Toys. Um, and no one's really been able to articulate what difference it makes um, other than you want to do it. So can't wait to uh, go off and do that. Ah, there, there is my other Monoshock. So I actually got two of these and I'll have to check my order because I'm fairly sure I ordered one. But it wouldn't surprise me if I ordered a second one for one of my other drift cars. Um, so that's about it. Um, I had a couple other deliveries as well, but they're probably not nearly as interesting as a DIZ. Uh, just basically some upgrades for the uh, 4x4, which I'm looking forward to uh, getting on the car. Uh, not nearly as heavy as I thought they'd be. Um, in fact, you can barely feel these. Uh, so I'll be interested to see if that actually makes a difference or not. And um, I'm also cracking on with my um, rebuilding my if I can get in focus, uh, Humvee build. So I've actually got an Overland chassis that has been broken for a while. Uh, well, not broken, but uh, due to issues with parts, um, the suspension didn't work nearly as well. And I definitely like this um, 120, I don't know if it's 124 or 128th scale, as opposed to the 118th scale you get with the Jimmy. Um, especially if you get the Jimmy one in particular, it just seems... It doesn't seem like it's 1 18th scale. It feels more like 1 14th scale. And it, it just... It, 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 it isn't any good. Um, it just doesn't feel right in your hands. And especially next to Mini Zeds, it just looks laughably huge. So definitely waiting. can't wait to get the Overland rebuilt and um, go on with that. Uh, that's in addition to the other Gecko 24 chassis, which I've got on my pink So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I just wanted this to be a quick video. Um, and hopefully you've enjoyed this. Uh, I will be building this over the weekend. Um, it's questionable whether or not I'll do that as a live stream uh, or just as recorded video. Um, we'll see what happens there because I do actually have, I found the other day the footage for the original DRZ build with the Super Skeeter where I had to do a lot of modifications to get that working. So I might upload that as well and then do this as a live stream. Um, but given how these builds normally go, I normally do these over two weekends as well. So that's it. I'll leave you the leave you here and um, have a good day, night, morning or whatever. See you later.